Number one, we have a distribution curve and they are interested to find out what does a curve look like when it's at the lower temperature. At the lower temperature, the peak of the curve will be to the left and it will also be higher in level. So to the left and higher than before, so will be C. In which species are the numbers of protons, neutrons and electrons all different? Now if they are all different, electrons and protons at least, you will have a charged particle. So B, which is not charged, will be out. Magnesium will have 12 protons and 12 neutrons, that will be out. And then if you just do a quick calculation, protons the bottom number, neutrons the difference between the top and the bottom, we will have C having all different numbers of protons and electrons. What is the most likely shape of the molecule, hydrazine? First of all, we will draw out hydrazine here. N, nitrogen has 5 electrons. 3 are used for bonding. 4 and 5 will be the lone pair. So this will be the number of electrons around nitrogen. And then it is 1 lone pair and 3 bond pairs. That gives us something like a tetrahedral shape. Okay. If it was a true tetrahedral, it will be 109.5 degrees. But because this lone pair requires more space, this angle will be lesser than 109.5. They will be squeezed closer together. So estimation will be around 107. In which species is the underlying does the underlying atom has an incomplete outer shell? So we draw out all the structures here. Al2 Cl6, CH3 plus, Cl2O, and H2 Cl C with a free radical lone pair. Okay. If you are wondering how do we come about this particular structure, well we know that the chlorine is joined to two other hydrogen, so one, two, and then it's joined to a carbon. We know that chlorine has seven outer electrons. One, two, three are used for bonding. Five, six, um, one, two, three are used for bonding, and four are not used for bonding, so there will be two lone pairs here. Okay, so that's what it looks like for chlorine. So looking across, incomplete outer shell means we are looking at this particular carbon. This one only has six electrons surrounding it. It's a carbocation. The rest will have actually eight. For aluminium, for the oxygen here, and for the chlorine here. Which solid contains more than one kind of bonding. Iodine will be the answer. Because iodine, besides having covalent bonds between the molecules, or rather covalent bonds within the molecules, between the atoms, they have van der Waals forces among the molecules. So covalent bond, one kind. Van der Waals forces, a second kind. For silicon dioxide, there's only covalent. Sodium chloride ionic, Zinc will be metallic. Number six, calculation of the pressure using PV and RT. Now we need to convert some of the units. The gas constant we'll be using here will be 8.31. So we need to find number of moles, 0 0.96 divided by MR. We have 0 0.03 moles. Temperature, we will need to convert it to Kelvins. So 30 plus 273. 
303 divide by the volume the volume will have to be converted to cubic meter so 7000 cubic centimeter we divide by 1 million so we have 7 times 10 to the power minus 3 so cubic meter kelvins the pressure will be expressed in terms of Pascal then okay. if you can remember you can think of Pascal meter cube like a name PEM so all these numbers are in and you calculate it you will get 10.8 kilo Pascal it will be expressed in terms of Pascal the set of numbers here and then you divide by 1000 to convert it to kilo Pascal seven we have an equilibrium question so after equilibrium which one will give us the total moles of gas to be two plus x over two we will need a bit of try and error okay, i'll start off with a if the equilibrium was a and then we have we try to fill in the information for initial change and equilibrium so using option a p 2 q and r we actually added two moles of p at the start so 0 0 and 2 the change we are not sure what what is the change but we are we know that x moles of r was present so we put x moles of r equilibrium and then we actually know that the change for r must be plus x and then we can fill in the change for the rest of them this is plus x this will be two times of x this one is to one for p and r r p will have decreased by x and then we put the two initial and change together we have the equilibrium amount here so this is the equilibrium amount we total them up 2 minus x plus 2x plus x we'll get 2 plus 2x which is not what we want we want 2 plus half x so a equilibrium is out so if you do the try and error quickly you will arrive at the answer that's d okay we see how it works out same thing D, we have 2, 0, 0. Equilibrium R will be X as given in the information. So we have plus X. Q will be half of whatever R experience. So plus half X. P will be the same as R, so minus X. In total, we have 2 minus X for p x over 2 for q and x for r we total it up 2 minus x plus x over 2 plus x we will get 2 plus x over 2 I push it up okay this is the initial this is the change this is the equilibrium so finally we have this that corresponds to the information here that's why you will follow in this equation d number eight third ionization energy this is small of a definition you will remove one electron from a two plus ion in its gaseous form Okay, so we have between B and D and then we have to be careful ionization energy is an endothermic reaction you have to overcome the attraction force so it will be a positive value manufacture of methanol what will increase the yield adding a catalyst will not change the yield 
it will just allow the equilibrium to be achieved faster. Okay. Adding excess of steam will shift the equilibrium. Steam is here. It will shift the equilibrium to the left side. That's not what we want. We want more of your methanol. Increasing pressure. We compare the moles of gas on both sides. We have four moles here. We have two moles. If you increase the pressure, the equilibrium will want to shift to the direction that has less gas. So it will produce a higher yield of methanol. So C is the correct answer. If you were to complete and check D, increasing the temperature, this is exothermic. If you increase the temperature, it will actually go to the shift towards the backward direction. So that will not give us a higher yield of methanol. Number 10, which molecule has the largest overall dipole? We look for the ones that's electronegative that will have a big influence. We have O here, which will pull electrons towards itself. So this is the overall dipole moment in this direction. We do have O here, but even though it pulls towards itself, there are two electronegative chlorine also. So it's in a way it reduces the impact of the pulling. So they cancel each other out to a certain extent. So the overall dipole is not as strong as B. D, we have chlorine withdrawing electrons and chlorine withdrawing electrons. They are on diagonally opposite sides, so they will cancel each other out also. So the largest dipole moment will be B. Number 11. 